Let's talk about when you when you are um, sharing about raising leaders and loving them as a mom, you know, because there's so many young leaders that ask me, how do I get a spiritual mom or dad? How do I choose them? You know, like what are some of the things that two sided love like it should be, you know, reciprocated. Um, but just share a little bit about that. Well, I think someone has to work harder on their growth than you will. So the fact is there was times in my life where I wanted someone to be a success so much that I worked and worked and worked and worked for their success and they did not work as hard. Because you felt that was love. I thought it was love. Okay. When in actuality, uh, it wasn't because they weren't taking responsibility for their own life. And so I've learned to invest into those who are willing to accept personal responsibility. Wow. And uh, they've been willing to manage their private world. And I've also recognized that any good or healthy relationship is mutually giving and receiving from one another. So it's not just me giving all and it's not just them giving all we mm. both give we both invest and so we have to recognize our people are they being honest do they speak in half truths? Do they just tell you the portion they want to hear, wow. want you to hear? Uh, or, or are they giving you the full truth? Are they being very authentic with what's going on on the inside of them? Because I, I don't need someone to patronize me. Yeah. I need someone to be honest with me. So if we're going to advance and we're gonna grow, then what do you really need? And if I don't know what you're battling with, then how can I help you overcome? And so real genuine love is accepting someone for where they're at, but challenge them to become the best they can become. Yeah. And so they're going to have to be willing to be honest. And, and so that's a little scary when we've learned to, to protect our hearts uh, because we've been hurt, because we've not been accepted uh, by individuals. And so I think it's just learning who we can trust and who we cannot, who loves authentically and who loves out of usury. And sometimes we don't know those things until we begin to walk out on the water a little bit and test a relationship. And I, and there's nothing wrong with, with testing that relationship to say, is this person really going to value my investment in their life? Yeah. And am I going to value who they are?